Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Manny and today I've got a follow along warm up routine you can do, no equipment required. You guys keep telling us how much you love the do this before every run video, but that you want something to follow along with too. So here's a short warm up for you to do before every run. You should always warm up before a run to get your heart rate up and prepare your muscles for the activity. Getting your muscles ready for what you're going to do is especially key if you're doing an intense session or race. It's important to mention though, this is not a specific treatment for an injury. If you are suffering from pain or injury, please go and seek in-person medical advice. Before we get stuck in, let's make sure we subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running. So the key thing to think about when we're warming up is to increase our body temperature. Start off with a slow jog, approximately eight to 15 minutes, depending on how advanced you feel and how you're feeling on that day. Raise your body temperature. Next up, I would recommend we do some leg swings. So for our leg swings, we just need something to put our hands onto. I'm gonna put my fingertips onto this wall and really, really simple, we're going to start off with a really slow progressive swing and this is a forward leg swing so you're going to move your leg forwards and backwards with the first few you might not want to lift your leg as high and then as you move you increase that momentum and we're looking to do 12 of those in total Perfect. We're just switching over now. Face the opposite side. Again, starting nice and controlled, nice and slow. And then as you get more comfortable, swinging further and doing 12 of these in total. Perfect. The next movement which can be really crucial to warm up, is basically a lateral lunge. All you do is you move over to one side and you stretch the inside of the leg and do this nice and dyna dynamically, pushing off, coming back to the start. We'll do eight of these in total. That was the first. Really nice and controlled. Keep your chest nice and tall. We sometimes forget the inside of our thigh muscle and our hips. So this is really important. Okay. Now we're going to switch over opposite side. As you can see, we're, we're moving, we're increasing that heart rate. Nice and smooth. Keep looking forward and relax. Next up, we want to create and generate force. We're going to do something called the A skip. I'm going to demonstrate this really slowly and then you're going to follow along. You're going to be bringing your knee up towards your chest, toes pointing up. Okay, we're going to do 12 in total, six on one side, and then we'll switch over to the other side. Along with moving our leg, we need to have a small skip. So I'll just show you the first one. Okay, really nice and gentle. Six on our left side, first of all. Ready, go. That was six. Switch over to our opposite side. Really nice and controlled. I'll just demo that first one and we'll go for six again. Perfect. Next rule we're going to do is called the B skip. We'll turn across back to the opposite side, left side first, really simple. Knee comes up towards your chest, similar to the A skip, and you kick out. Imagine you're trying to 
push your foot against the wall or door, okay? So, lift, kick out. This time actually we're doing eight in total, four on each side. So, add the skip like we did before, four on your left. So, I'll demo the first one. That was the first one. Now, let's do our four together. Happy? Let's switch over. Right side, exactly the same thing. Four in total. All done. A skip, B skip's done. All of those drills, those last two, were about generating power. Our last one's the same, pogo. As you can see, I'm starting to breathe a bit heavier. That's what a warm-up's for. Pogo, really simple. Again, we're looking for that power, that force, toes up. So, I'm going to use both legs and just jumping up, like so. Same again. With this, we are doing four. Ready? Copy me. As you start moving into the repetitions, you can produce more and more force. Three, two, one, let's go. There we go. Great work. You're ready for your training session. Thanks for following along with that, guys. If you have any suggestions of workouts or follow-alongs you'd like us to do, please put them down in the comments on this video. And we will see you again on the Running Channel.